Good morning, beautiful butterflies. It's Thursday, and I'm out here getting ready to take me another healthy walk. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. And thank you so much for sticking with me. I tell you what, <laughs> mental health is a thing. And it's a desirable thing. It's something that we want and something that we want to cultivate. And since I've been walking on a more regular basis, I find myself using this opportunity to step away from some of the stuff that worries my mind so much when I'm in the house. And yes, I'm in the house. I don't have, I really don't have a job, y'all. And that's the most worrying thing because it's been a minute. I left my employment in December. And since then, I've been trying to piece together as much work as I can. Like today, I have another catering job downtown at the Marriott. And that's, that's a blessing for sure. <laughs> but I need something steady. I need to be at work every day, five days a week, eight hours a day. And that's the goal. And I've actually put a lot of energy into getting that. And to a certain extent, all of this exercising that I'm doing is very handy in terms of getting me out of the house, helping me be more social, for instance, on social media, and I feel like having fitness as a goal is a good and obtainable goal, something that I can control. Like when they say, God gave give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. My fitness level is actually something that I can actually change. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I control anything, but I can definitely also say that I'm being proactive in a very low cost way towards changing my present circumstances. You know, like I was telling y'all, if I keep working out, and I will, I'm expecting to see improvements in my appearance, improvements in my mental health, improvements in my level of strength and endurance, improvements in my balance. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I certainly have seen changes in my YouTube channel. <laughs> and that's funny because I initially didn't know what kind of channel I wanted. I just started making videos. And if you scroll all the way back to the beginning, they weren't even really YouTube videos. They were just videos that I ultimately posted to YouTube. And, uh, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Fine, thank you. And I said, well, let's start being more intentional about YouTube. And I'm in my mid-50s, and I was, I think, 52 or so when I really got started thinking about a YouTube channel. I'm 54 now. And I thought, okay, let's have a channel about being a woman of a certain age interested in beauty. And I knew nothing about makeup or anything like that. But of course, I was willing to learn. And I, I went out there and I bought all this makeup. 
and skincare. <laughs> and I got started. I'm coming. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. And I went out and bought all of this makeup and skincare. And I got started making videos and trying to get on a learning curve. And then I lost my job. <laughs> and suddenly, I wasn't going out of the house. <laughs> and I wasn't using the makeup. I wasn't making no videos. I wasn't even really using the skincare. I was just washing my face with whatever soap and trying to keep some sunscreen on if I was going out the door. And that's it. And I'm trying to pick up where I left off and be way more about it. Because when I look back at those first makeup videos that I did, and I did that yesterday, it was like one year ago. I'm like, oh my God. It's been like one year since I really sat down and played in the makeup. No wonder I feel crappy. <laughs> you know? So I sat down and I played in the makeup a little bit last night. And I used that Bare Minerals. And I did a makeup video on Bare Minerals. If you scroll back, you can see it. I don't know how to post it in the cards or anything like that. But I used that Bare Minerals on my face last night. And I was like, oh, no. I probably am not a foundation girl. I have some foundations that are now a year old. And I might play around on those on or off camera. But... I need to pin down and or explore what it is I'm really doing out here because I be worried and worrying, worrying, worrying and a lot of internal stress. I feel like I'm just being very blessed to have come up with this exercise routine stuff because at this point it really feels like it's saving my life just getting up getting out and getting active and if you feel like you need something extra in your life to help you I can only suggest that you get up and you get out and you get active. It doesn't have to cost anything. I don't have any kind of special exercise equipment. I don't even have a pair of tennis shoes. I'm out here in sandals. I would say bedroom slippers, but <laughs> I'm not trying to be. My bedroom slippers are sandals. Let's put it that way. See, I don't even have bedroom slippers. <laughs> So yeah, take the opportunity to think about what you're doing, where you are, and how you can make minor adjustments or major ones to your lifestyle that can be beneficial over time. That's all. I'm approaching this park. I'm going to set up my camera and add some different kind of exercise to this walk thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment and share thanks for joining me